After a 16-year-old was killed in an equestrian competition, we are hanging out with Coda to learn more about the sport. Hannah Surfass was an up-and-coming writer. She just won a talent search for show jumping earlier this year and won medal after medal at the World Equestrian Center. The Sarasota County Sheriff's Office says on Sunday, the 16-year-old made it through a jump at a competition, but then a few gallops later, something went wrong. Hannah toppled off the horse and it landed right on top of her. Had you heard of something like this case happening? I have. I've seen it myself and it's scary and it doesn't always end tragically. Jeanette McDonald is a licensed judge with the United States Equestrian Foundation and owns the Equestrian Training Center of Ocala. She says for anyone concerned horseback riding is dangerous, she'd tell them all sports are dangerous. Life is dangerous. We go through our checklists of things to keep ourselves as safe as we can, and then we have to live. Hannah was also on the track team at Wildwood Middle School. She was part of the Sumter County 4-H Youth Development Program. The United States Equestrian Federation says Hannah was known for her passion for horses, her natural ability, and her work ethic. What does it take to get over a jump? It takes a lot of work <laughs> and it takes a lot of connection and um, harmony with the horse, you know, because you and him are going over an obstacle and, and then having to land and regroup and then go to another obstacle. The U.S. Equestrian Federation also says it, quote, takes every accident very seriously and will be reviewing the accident thoroughly to learn what they can do to minimize risk and increase safety in equestrian sport. In Ocala, Marie Edinger, Fox 35 News.